Chinatown. It's an important hub for merchants, but some business owners say theft and other illegal activities are still an issue. That's despite some efforts from the city to clean up the area. The city says Chinatown remains a priority. Max Rodriguez follows up. Chinatown businesses say they are fed up with crime in their neighborhood. One local shop telling me they've lost thousands of dollars after being targeted by a thief. We personally have dealt with it with harassment. We've been robbed. Shops inside Mount Akea Marketplace closing up earlier before the sun sets for their own safety. Other shops in Chinatown, like Cindy's Lay, keeping their security cameras updated and looking out for one another. I always look to the left, look to the right, across the street, and then I put my things down and I close up. I mean, you always have to be aware. A lot of the incidences that have happened have been like people like either wearing masks, people on bikes, on skateboards. Businesses and even the Chinese Chamber of Commerce telling me that they have noticed a difference with more police presence, city cleanups, and the core team focusing on medical needs. But they say that it's still a complex issue. You know, it's still a good place to come down and shop during the day. That's no problem. But I think people need to understand that there's, there's more still needs to be cleaned up. It's, uh, it's been a hard road and we're just not there yet. The city's community services director says they are extending its Chinatown task force, allowing for more police officers to remain on a 24-7 beat. This year, planning on opening transitional housing for those living on the streets. And we've gotten $12 million of congressionally directed dollars to do villages. So I'm hoping to, to um, activate some villages. We'll be starting on that shortly. We just got the money in. And now I'm already talking and I have three sites that we're working on actively. And each of those can be 100 beds. The sites including in town on Middle Street, Waianae, and Waimanalo. There's also been delays in installing new security cameras, but those shipments are now starting to come in. I think we got the first shipment of seven or so that are coming in, but I think there's a much broader plan for installing cameras in town, and I think that that will help. Businesses say the Chinese New Year celebration brought out many families to a lively and safe event, and they hope for more positive change. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.